Hey guys, Nugs B here, and I just want to give a big thanks to the sponsors of For the Record, hashtag TogetherFTR. And the first one I want to give a thanks to today is Advanaclean of the Tri-State. Advanaclean of the Tri-State provides essential indoor air quality services to residential and commercial customers. They specialize in things like mold removal, water damage, dryer vent cleaning, and air duct cleaning. You can give them a call at 606-331-5001. And they do free estimates, so just give my buddy Joel a call, and he'll be right there for you whenever he can. He'll get you scheduled in. Uh, Their address is 4446 13th Street, Ashland KY. So if you need to stop in and uh, holler at him about something, just go on in. And this lovely establishment is ran by Joel and Pam Dooley. And these are great people. Like I said, get in contact with them. They'll do some free estimates for you, uh, get you all the way together, guys. And uh, you can also go check them out on Facebook at Advanta Clean of the Tri-State. And go be sure to give them a like. Go be sure to share their page and share it with your friends. And their website is www.advanaclean.com. Dot com slash Ashland dash KY. Another sponsor for today is my boy John Cannon at Straight Out of Makeup in the Hillbilly Flea Market. Not only does he have makeup at low prices, but this man is the fire stick king. I got to give it up. He's always taking great care of me. Uh, his are guaranteed with uh, free cable, Netflix, Hulu, NFL, movies and theaters, and more. I personally have one, like I said, and it's pretty great, to be honest. Uh, Go see him and tell him I sent you. But in the meantime, go like and share his page. You can go to www.facebook.com slash straight out of makeup. Or you can just search on Facebook, straight out of makeup. And uh, like I said, he's at the the Hillbilly Flea Market. So the address is 227 Russell Road. Booth 45, opposite end of Spectrum. So when you pull in, he's going to, you know, you pull around, you go to the other end, opposite of Spectrum, he'll be the first booth as soon as you walk in. A lot of great stuff, guys. Go check my guy out. He's killing the game. Uh, The phone number, 606-465-8296. So once again, big thanks to the sponsors. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and get into this episode. It's for the record, son. Yeah. Yeah. It's for the. It's for the record. I said it's for the. It's for the record. Yeah, boy. It's for the. It's for the record. And we all are. We all together. I said we What is up, everybody? It's your boy Nugs B coming to you with episode 35 for the record. Hashtag together FTR. I am joined by Alex Music, aka Drex Dyer in the house, baby. In the flesh, baby. In, in the, the flesh. flesh. We in the building. What's good, everybody? What's good? We're bringing the energy. You already know. Uh, shout out <laughs> to my dude. And uh, we're going to start this as usual with the entertainment history. So, August 26th, 1968, the Beatles release Hey Jude with the B-side Revolution. Hey Jude <clears throat> is probably, arguably, their most mainstream song, or Come Together. Yeah, I was about to say Come Together. Come Together sure. and Hey Jude. Yeah, I feel easy. like those are definitely the two most mainstream songs of the Beatles, and yeah. I love both what of them. What about Yellow Submarine? we got to give that, that an honorable mention. That's a good call. Mention. 
Good call. That's an honorable mention, bro, because you got to think, and it's really, really cool, but did you know that Ringo actually wrote that song? I did, yeah. Yeah, he wrote they, uh, that song, dude. Pretty they cool. They didn't let him write much, but when they nah. did, it was, it was some good nah, stuff. They really didn't. Was, <laughs> I ain't showing any love to Ringo, but those, I'll show the love to him. Much love, Ringo those Starr. Those Brits, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> nah, but <clears throat> Paul McCartney was a great songwriter. Oh, I mean, absolutely. Dude. Each to their strengths. Seriously, man. They were great, dude. 100%. Uh, August 26, 1995, Seal's Kiss from a Rose hits number one in the U.S. after being used in the movie Batman Forever. So I, thought that was, I, I thought that was pretty dope. It's a banger. Dude, I love Seal. So good. Love Seal, man. <laughs> so good. And his uh, ex-wife, I believe they're not together anymore, I'm pretty sure, uh, Heidi Klum, is that her name? Or Heidi Klum? Oh, I have no Heidi idea, Klum. man. Oh, I have <laughs> his wife. Slides the clue. <laughs> she is a beautiful woman. Beautiful, bro. I'll pull up a picture real quick. I think you should, man. And he I'm, is just, oh, I do love just beautiful hideous, women. man. Like, such an ugly guy. I feel so, <laughs> I feel so bad for him, dude, for like. He's doing him dirty, man. No, dude, I love him. Like, I love Seal, but I just feel so bad for him for the, you know, whatever it was. I think it's a disease or like a skin pigment uh, Oh, then you're deaf. Oh, like, what are you doing, man? Yeah. But yeah, this Terrible. was his ex-wife, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good for him. Yeah, no, good for him. Good for you, Seal. You I didn't even see him, but name. good for him. You can rock one name. Absolutely. Uh, August 26, 1966, Dan Vickery, lead guitarist for Counting Crows, is born in Walnut Creek, California. West Coast, baby. Shout out to the Bay. Shout out to the Bay, son. Um, yeah, also, I just want to take a second to shout out all the people who have been, uh, you know, giving us feedback on the merch and the new graphic that's been acquired for the podcast. Uh, also, you can go check out. All the merch right now and the new tank top, hoodie, and shirt at www.togetherftr.com. And, you know, drop a comment on the Server Life tab. You know, go check out the Knowledge tab. There's a lot of cool stuff on there for you guys to do. Um, so, yeah, I really appreciate everybody that's been going and seeing everything. It means a lot to me. Also, I just want to give a shout out to my dude, Neff. Uh, this is one of his shirts, actually. Few apparel, baby. Go give him a like. On Facebook. Support your local artists. You already know, son. Always. And yeah, go give him a like on Facebook, few apparel, and uh, tell him Taylor sent you. Okay. So, now it's time for Raiders Review, my friends. And also, I just want to let everybody know that I'm going to be, excuse me, I'm going to be changing it up, and I'm going to be adding an R to it. So it's going to be triple R, baby. Raiders Review and Recommendations. So in the Raiders, because a lot of people might think I'm saying Raiders, but it's actually Raiders. <laughs> like we're not talking about Oakland. You know? We're, like, we're not talking about the Oakland Raiders. <laughs> we're not talking, talking about Oakland. Shout out to my dude DJ who loves Oakland, but still, we're not talking about them. We're talking about Raiders review and recommendations. So for the Raiders review today and recommendations, the top five movies of 1999 when my man was born. I'm a young and, man. <laughs> And I'm going to go ahead and kick mine off first. And these are in no particular order, actually. Uh, I just, you know, chose whatever. Um, and I chose The Matrix for one, just because Keanu Reeves seriously changed the, best the game. Dude. Changed the, best, the dude. game, seriously. He's the internet's boyfriend right now. Oh, He's dude. the greatest man ever. Like, it's crazy. You don't like here. Keanu Reeves, and what do you, you need to reevaluate. You life, really man. need to. I don't like that energy. I, I can't yeah, have that type I, of energy. I can't have that me. negativity in my life. It's bad, bro. Um, so yeah, The Matrix, first one, super dope. Love Lawrence Fishburne as my boy Morpheus, you already Great. know. Uh, just a real good time for everybody. And the second one I got is Tarzan. Uh, shout out to Phil Collins for making probably, arguably, the best soundtrack that Disney has ever, ever heard. This is real talk. I mean, Strangers Like Me... Bro, that That's song great. is so good. So good, man. That's fire, man. Uh, my third one's going to be The Iron Giant. And also, fun fact for Classic. the day, uh, Vin Diesel was actually the voice for The Iron Giant. I know. Pretty I know. dope. That's, for those of you who don't know out there. That is a weird fact. Dude. Super weird. <laughs> fun fact, guys. Um, my fourth one was Detroit Rock City. And then the fifth one was actually one of uh, you know, Alex's as well. Um, my fifth one would have been The Green Mile. So, you know. Also a classic. But I'll let you go ahead and uh, name yours off as well, my friend. I feel like we skipped over Detroit Rock City when we should have. <clears throat> Great no. movie. I watched that Real so good. many times with my Real good, bro. And we did kinda, I did kind of so I, I did, I did kinda go over that quick. But 
Here's the thing, bro. Detroit Rock City, I remember, I literally remember watching it with my mom, dude, and she loved Kiss, you know, and like, <clears throat> she was real Same, big into my Kiss, parents bro. bought that for me. Straight like, up, four dude. Or five. And like, I remember watching it, man, and just being like intrigued so much of these like high school kids just rebelling pretty right. much, like just to go see oh, Kiss and like so do whatever good. they want. Like, seriously. I hated that mom so much when she burnt oh, those Kiss man. tickets. I was so little five year old me was so mad. I was seething at the mouth, man. I was <laughs> huffing like a minotaur. I was ready to take action. <laughs> For real, bro. It was terrible. It was terrible. Great movie, though. Really? If you haven't seen it, you know, you need to <clears throat> smarten yourself up. Yeah, Detroit Rock City is definitely a must watch <laughs> for all humans, I feel like. Absolutely. Get it together. So go ahead and name yours off, my friend. All right. On mine, uh, we're going to lead it off with American Pie. That's yeah. So good. Such a classic. Yeah. Well, for me, not for Jason me, but... Biggs, bro. Second one was really, really funny, too, when it they was. go to college. That was real good. I was a real good. big fan of Wedding. Honestly, there's not many that I'm not a fan of. Like, yeah, Naked they, they fell off good. at the end a little bit. Yeah. With some of them, I feel like they did. Uh, what else was good? Um, I liked the uh, Beta House. Beta House was good. Was that when they had the uh, the uh, Little People uh, football? Yes. I yeah, believe that was that one. Yeah. Yes, that, that was one was good pretty stuff. good. Beta House was good. Uh, what else, man? I'm trying to think. <laughs> yeah. American Wedding was okay. It wasn't Mer- bad. I was a fan. Yeah, yeah. That infamous pie scene, the first yeah, one, though, man. bro, There's you already nothing. know. Change the game, Iconic. man. Iconic. Change the game. All right, number two, Green Mile. We already hit that one. Oh, yes. Phenomenal man. movie. Yeah, Tom Hanks is a goat, dude. Yes, he really the is. Best. He really is a goat. Hey, I forgot his name, man. Michael Clark Duncan. <clears throat> Michael Clark Duncan. Peace, Michael yeah, Clark RIP Duncan. to him, dude. I'm so mad at myself for forgetting that for a for second. For real, man. He was so funny in Ricky Bobby. So <laughs> Dude, he was great. Yes. Talladega Nights, man. That was oh, my jam. Yes. He was in... Uh, so good. What else was he in that was real good? He was in uh, Space Cowboys. I'm pretty sure he was in that. Never seen that. Dude, That I'm, I'm pretty sure. Hold on, hold on. I might be tripping. I might have spoke uh, too soon on that. He's in, I'm pretty sure he's in Space Cowboy, bro. I've never even seen that movie, I don't think. Yeah, it's a good movie, dude, for sure. It's been a minute it. since I've saw it. Uh, it's got Tommy Lee Jones. Uh, uh, it's got a lot of people yeah, in it. Yeah, it has those two already. I'm already. Oh, dude, into it's, it. it's really great. I don't know if he was in it for <laughs> sure, though, man. I'm pretty sure he was. Let me see here. He was either in that or maybe I'm tripping. Space Cowboys. Did you hear about Space Force? Yeah, Space Force. <laughs> yeah, man. We got to d- take down maybe all of our space uh, threats. No, hold on. He was in some type of space movie that I'm I'm not thinking of right now. Oh my god, this is aggravating me really bad. Armageddon, that's Arm- what he was in. He was Armageddon, Man. not Space Cowboys, bro. I have seen wow. that. I knew that. Wow, wow. I'm an idiot, uh. bro. Wow, I'm stupid. Such a good Yeah, movie. dude, he's been in a, a lot of great stuff, man. Sin great City stuff. was dope. I love Sin City. But yeah, shout out to Michael Clark Duncan, dude. Such a hitter, bro. R.I.P., man. Yeah, and one of my f- next one is one of my favorite horror movies, personally. Yeah, it's real good. It's Sleepy Hollow. Perfect, Johnny Depp. bro. Is that Christina Ritchie, I think? Isn't it? Uh, yeah, I believe pretty, so. pretty sure. Don't don't quote me on that until he Yeah, hold on. Let me let me see. Pretty sure here. that's who that is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, phenomenal yeah, movie. One hundred percent. So good. Yeah, good call. Good call. Yeah, Sleepy Hollow was real extra awesome. Yeah. I didn't know about all these really good movies that were released like the year I was born. <laughs> yeah, man. There was a lot of great stuff, stuff the year I was born as well. Ninety six was a, a pretty awesome year for uh, yeah. you know, film entertainment. Pretty awesome. 90s in general was. For real. Yeah, they really were, man. The 80s had a couple good movies. Like, I'm not taking away from the 80s. There were definitely movies in the 80s you can still watch yeah. now, but a lot of them are hard to watch now. The Breakfast Club, man, that, I think Great. that's timeless. Dude, like, you, that applies to any. 100%. Group of you're absolutely right. Yeah. And another one that's from the 80s that I always mention is Roadhouse, bro. You can watch Roadhouse any day of the week and you're still going to love it. I enjoy Roadhouse. It is seriously, yeah. that and Breakfast Club are probably the two best movies from the 80s, in my opinion. And Terminator 1. Because I think T2 was put, in the 90s. I put Ghostbusters in there, man. The yeah, original, the original word. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I put the original Ghostbusters in there. But yeah. yeah, I agree, other than that, 100%. I just don't think there's others that could hold a candle to Breakfast Club or Roadhouse, though. Ghostbusters was Probably good, not. dude. I'm not going to lie. What like, about the, Ghost... was the Blues Brothers in the 70s? I don't know, actually. Hey, dude, if that was in the 80s, then that's definitely going on there. Yeah, good call. Good call. I don't know if it was the 80s or not, bro. I think it was. Nope, it came out 1980, bro. Mm. Literally 1980. Mm. That's what's the 80s. up. Yeah, yeah. Good call, dude. Yeah, dude. nice. Yeah, okay. That's an honorable mention. I'm not really, I'm not really big on the 80s in general, but I. I there really, was some cool really stuff that it. came out yeah, of it. Some you really know? cool stuff. Gangster rap, you know, like yeah. That's where Body that crew. You know? Yeah, like, dude. A lot real. of cool stuff came out. A lot of, 80s, of cool man. stuff, man. Uh, but you know, a lot of 
lame stuff. I'm not with the, the hair bands, really. Well. I loved hair bands. I'm not going to lie, bro. I love hair differ, bands. That's where we differ, Mr. Brock. That's where we differ. And what was the next one you picked, bro? The next one I pick is one of my personal favorites and just my favorite show of all time was based off of it. I don't know if it was based after this or was the show before or after the movie. Um, pretty anyway, sure. the show was before the movie. It was? Yes. Cool. It, well, this it, is it, South it Park, up. Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. Yeah, that's when they started cussing, like, and saying the F word and oh, being yeah. crazy. Terrence and Phillip, <clears throat> Saddam Hussein. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Garrison getting cussed out by Cartman. Yes, bro. Yeah, dude. <laughs> sparked a revolution for delinquents everywhere. Yes, bro. Yes. And it's, it's so funny that, like, man, South Park was, like we talked about earlier, it was way ahead of its time, way man. Way ahead, man. Way ahead. Do you ever see Basketball? Yes. Yeah, dude. Yes. That was like they did that before South Park, and it was pretty funny. There, it's great. pretty hilarious, I, man. Their their style of comedy is so much. Yeah, favorite. it's Matt good. Stone man. and Trey Parker are just yeah. They're they're hilarious. They're geniuses, man. For they real. they hit every issue on the head. Yeah, like, they really do, bro. On. And it's funny because like you know uh, the stuff they were doing, all of it's been pretty spot on. You know, like it's pretty relevant to the times. They stay with the times. Absolutely. And they talk about stuff that's like legit. You dude, know? that Honey Boo Boo episode of South Park. Dude, yeah. I, fe- you I was literally in tears. <laughs> like, they, they they did them so dirty, but it yeah. was the funniest thing Oh, so funny, bro. Life. Do you remember uh, the, oh my God, what was her name? The Starving Marvin episode when it's the Ethiopian kids and... Uh, <laughs> Sally Strutters. Yes, Sally Strutters. <laughs> yes, bro, yes. Sally Strutters, oh bro. She's like so hogging good. all the chocolate. Yes. Oh my God. Bro, she had little Debbies up in there. She was hiding them from the little starving Ethiopians. Oh my God. Dude, that was seriously one of the funniest oh. episodes. And and another one that was funny, like when Mr. Hanky first comes, that was one of the funniest ones too, bro. That was real good. And you remember his son, Cornwallis? Yes, <laughs> Cornwallis. <laughs> Bro, dude, have you seen the latest so episode they have with Mr. Hanky? Dude, I haven't watched dude, they, Park they, okay. since. Uh, oh my god! Uh, I think last season was the last you season need, I watched. I, you need when to, was man. A, what, what was uh, what was the season where Garrison was Donald Trump and the member berries? Was that two seasons two ago? Two seasons ago. Okay, that's the last one I watched. Dude, this member is, berries. This is that one, member above. berries was hilarious too, bro. This is in member. This, yeah. Member Lando Ooh, I remember. <laughs> I remember. Oh, remember Jeff Goldblum? He was fantastic. <laughs> Dude, member so berries, yes. so lit, oh, man. man. Dude, my grandma loves member berries. <laughs> like, loves funny, them. Dude. Sends me gifts of them all the time. That on is funny, man. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, I want to interrupt you, dude. But, the yeah. Mister Hanky episode, the most recent one. They're yeah. they were roasting uh, Roseanne Barr. Oh, really? <laughs> for her Ambien, alone, man. Dude, all the like, Ambien, yes, yeah. Like Mister Hanky would take Ambien and then do like mean, like like <laughs> just be mean <laughs> to everybody on Twitter in South Park. <laughs> That's horrible. It took away bro. his Christmas special. That oh is my horrible, god, it was the f- man. That that oh. The first one was real funny though. It was so the first the first episode of Mr. Hanky. So it's the best. It's iconic. Him, it was real good. Uh the one with Guitar Hero, that was a real good yes. one too, bro. Yes. But the all-time my all-time favorite at least was when um Cartman gets addicted to KFC and they bring medical <laughs> marijuana to yes. uh, Colorado medicinal fried yes, chicken yes bro and that, they, he that's goes my favorite he, too man he goes to the rehab and like they give him some gravy <laughs> he said there's He's like itching for it. And he's like, it's gravy. He's like, no chicken skins. He was like, no skins. What's Dude, going when he on? Starts, when he kicks that kid out of the business, starts yeah. running it like Scarface. Oh, bro. He's like doing lines of Colonel Sand. Skin. <laughs> <laughs> like chicken skin. Dude. Oh, my God. So good. That's seriously That's one of the ca- best, the best episodes, thing. man. That's the best thing I've ever seen. Skin a little life. bit of cancer, Sharon. No big deal. <laughs> just a little bit of cancer. Yeah, dude. Yes. Just horrible stuff. That guy, okay, Stan, can yeah. you get a beer? <laughs> Stan? Stan? <laughs> Dude, so good. Oh, oh man. Oh, Shout out to South Park. I can talk about South Park all Dude, day, it's, man. the cheesing. Cheesing was crazy, <laughs> bro. What else was a good one? You ready to try to gentrify South Park? Yeah, what was the one where, uh, you remember the one about the PSP? And there was like a battle between like heaven and hell, and, yes. and God was like a rat, and like yeah, dude, and Kenny, Kenny was like Kenny the was best, the man. yeah, he had the gold <laughs> PSP. Dude, PSPs were like next level, man. They were, like man. they were seriously like incredibly. I had one for like, sure. Oh great. yeah, me too. One hundred percent. I remember having God of War for it. Uh, I played a lot of awesome games. Tony Hawk, dude. Yeah, PSPs were I've sick, bro. Out. Yeah, I love Tony Hawk, bro. I'm seriously about to buy Proving Ground or Pro Skater 4 just so I can get nasty on people and see if they still play on the internet. <laughs> because if they if people if people still play on the internet, I'm trying to like gamble. Like I know I'm good, bro. You believe in yourself. I'm that nasty, much, bro. I'm nasty. I'm nasty, bro. Like I've been nasty since I was a kid at Tony Hawk. I haven't dude. played any Tony Hawks recently. I think the last one I played was like Tony Hawk Underground 2. The 
Oh, dang. Yeah, PS2, bro. Dang, that was a long time or ago. No, the, the one for PSP. Which yeah. one that was? Was that American Wasteland? Uh, yeah, that was American Wasteland. Okay, last was one last I played time. was the one after that was Proving Ground. That was yes, the last okay. one I played. One of those I played was um, sure. Pro Skater 5, I think, like one time. It kind of sucked, though. I didn't like the way it was laid out. But yeah. Proving Ground was laid out perfect. I liked the maps on it. And, dude, I could get filthy with it. Like, Did you like Skate? Dude, skate was good. Yes. It was hard though. Okay. It was more realistic. So that's what I, I liked I about that. it. Yeah, I got with like that. I liked that aspect about it. But at the same time, it's I way like harder to be good, like, bro. Good. It, it, it's hard to drop three million on. You could skate. be a god on Tony Hawk. On Tony Hawk, no bro. I'm a champion. Like I, I literally <laughs> might buy it just to start streaming it, bro. Like for should, real, man. because I'm telling you, dude. Like I'm not even joking. It's just one of those games that I have always been good at. Dude. Guitar Hero is another one. I'm just always been good at Guitar Hero, dude. Can we talk like, about the story on Tony Hawk's Underground 2? So good. Bam sweet. Margera? Yeah, dude. dude. He was a big part of both of them, actually. It was so good, man. Like, yeah. The story on Proving Ground was good, you too. You had to find, like, Ben Franklin and Sasquatch. Yeah, and yeah bro. Yeah, something. I remember all those characters, actually. Yeah, those were pretty sick. Polly in the wheelchair. That's PS2. Yeah, yeah dude. PS2. Dude, PS2 was seriously, like, game-changing for uh, video games in general. Like, Xbox was cool, and, like, you could mod it, and it was, like, the first modding thing that, like, yeah. console like the people really got into the original fat you know black and green xbox yeah. but at the same time when you played playstation 2 it was going down bro oh, you yeah. was in there playing street football or basketball granted theft auto san andreas bro oh yes dude that was a hitter hitter bro I san andreas like, was so good i'm still calling for them to remaster that with different God. with the graphics that they have now dude that would be sick that would and be add insane. some stories and add a couple characters and stuff yeah because that was pretty much like the west coast beef it was it like easy e and Shug. yeah easy e was literally uh they modeled rider in that in that game off of and e. sweet was suge knight um and big smoke was uh biggie or I think it was representing either Biggie. They never really said. It was always right. just implied, so they didn't get sued, I guess. Yeah, and CJ was pretty much Pac, kind of, like, to he a degree. Like yeah. Or, like, his brother was or something. I don't know, bro. I don't it was, know. It was cool, though. It was, it was really so cool. awesome, dude, and I really, really enjoyed it. I love San Andreas. I literally beat it. I beat all, the alternate endings, like, everything you could do, because, like, if you played it with cheats, you'd have a different ending. Yeah. Like, or if you beat it just plain, you can... I was so young then, I don't think I beat it. I Dude, I'm, it. my dad... I need to look it up, like, the ending to that. I don't even know what the ending is. Like, Dude. don't spoil it for I me, I won't, please. bro. Uh, <laughs> I want you to... I, you need to get that in, because there's, like, two or three endings, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember, bro. I, they, even, they had multiple long. endings back then, too? Yeah, bro, it's been a long time, but I'm wow. almost 100%. That was, like, one of the first games they did it on. I, that's uh, first I've heard That I knew old. of, at least. Yeah. Um, so I could be wrong. There's probably a PC game out there. They were like, yeah, PC, we're, you know, we're that. PC cool. is always ahead of the yeah, time, man. We've always had we're it, you know. We always had deleted scenes, bro. <laughs> You know, can't touch um, PC. <laughs> but nah. Uh, realistically, though, I'm pretty sure that was one of the first games I remember, at least on console. Yeah, that man, was a lot like of a lot of ones do it now, especially Rockstar. They're real good. And, about oh, that. dude, and San Andreas yeah. seriously was like a game changer. You could get fat, or you could get buff. Or yeah, you could get I don't know skinny. why they took that out. In dude, that was so cool. It was. It was. Well, they it took it out so in cool. four too. In four, when you were the Russian, yeah, uh, did, you didn't yeah. really have to work out. Like you could just like you had the phone though, which was cool, but it was kind of whack at the same time. But five was good. Like five, don't get me wrong, dude. Like the alternation of trading characters and stuff, yeah. I really liked that. I thought that was really interesting. You know, um, uh, it was what Trevor, Michael, and Franklin. Franklin, yeah, 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 yeah dude. That that was pretty cool. I liked it playing good, like man. that. The campaign was really good. Was. Uh, I just recently beat that for the first time because I just went straight to online. Yeah. I was one of those guys. Yeah, and yeah, just recently. word. It was a little moth. I just took out the game, bro. Gang, Done gang, for. Gang, 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 gang bro. You getting him out. Oh, he's all ganged out here, bro. You getting stomped out. Very <laughs> 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 assaulting moss. <laughs> but, um, dude, another campaign that's, like, seriously one of my favorite ever, like, as a series or a franchise, I guess you want to call it, is Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3. Dude, Modern Warfare so 2, yes. good. That was one of the first campaigns I really sat oh down and beat. Oh, my God. Like, dude, yeah, I beat I 2, invested. and then I beat 1, and then I beat 3. I beat it all mixed match, but I still knew, like, what it was. M like Now, you know. it's been a minute, but MW2 is the one where you go in that... Uh, airport, like the third mission. Terminal is two. Yes, yes. And you, and, you and, whoop, and you just like start doing the mass shooting. The Russians. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, you're the Russians. That's number two. Um, maybe actually, it might be three, bro. I don't know for sure. I think no, it wasn't three. It was one or two. I it, was it was definitely two. two. If it, was it wasn't three, it wasn't it was, three. It was two then. No, it because wasn't. Terminal was on two. Yeah, you're absolutely right, bro. Yeah. It was two because three had bigger maps. I feel yeah, like. Yeah, it was. Um, but not two actually. 
Dude, I love because two the very ending was when you uh, when uh, Shepard kills Captain Price or whatever, yeah. or he's going to or whatever, and then you throw the knife at him, yeah. yada yada, whatever. I don't want to ruin for anybody who hasn't played it. If you haven't played Modern Warfare, yeah, two, bro, yes. you, Come yeah, on. I don't even care actually. Yeah, yeah you can just you can get, yeah, don't right. just don't listen, bro. Just cover your ears, you little <laughs> wimp. Like, come on, bro. You didn't play Modern Warfare two? Get real. Be a man. Uh, yeah, grow up, or a bro. Woman. Grow up. <laughs> Uh, but dude, those maps were sick. The, were. the remastered Modern Warfare is supposed to have those maps plus I more. Have that. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. good stuff. No, no, the one that it, hold on, the one that just came out. Yeah, or it's, it's about origi- to come out. It, no, it's the original Modern Warfare remastered, right? No, no, no. This no, one's they, supposed to be this one, one. Yeah, bro, this one's different. Oh, I know what yeah. one you're talking about. Smarten me up, man. Yeah, hold on, bro. Uh, it comes out in this month, I think, bro. Let me see. Oh, I think it's nice. just Modern Warfare. Uh, yeah, dude. It's coming out. No, uh, it comes out October twenty fifth. Sorry, my bad. Are they changing the story or what no, no, no. I think they're keeping. This is what I've read. Don't know. It wasn't from a. It was just from a random uh, thing or whatever. Okay. But um, it was on the internet, so it could be completely wrong. So if you Not know your stuff, yeah. comment on this video and fact check me. But from my understanding, I was told or I read that it was uh, going to be like the maps and the story from Modern Warfare two. But there's going to be alternate things. Like things are going to change, and there's going to be more maps added. I think. For a remaster. That's cool. That would be real sick if they did that, bro. <coughs> but so it could they, be wrong. Are they doing survival or zombies on that? I really don't know. Hopefully it's survival because survival yeah, I mean, was awesome. Yeah, I hope they don't bring back zombies. If I love zombies. Don't get me yeah, wrong. That's all right. But, I, I never really got into it, bro. I like survival more. Dude, I feel like survival Black changes Ops it up. Zombies, I feel like it's just untouchable, man. Dude, like I said, survival for like Modern Warfare 3, in my opinion, is more fun simply because you get a variety of what you're killing. I know that sounds yeah. horrible. That sounds real serial killer like of me, but <laughs> you know, like it is what it is. I like to, you know, murder things. Uh, yeah. No, but realistically, man, you get to fight dogs, you get to fight juggernauts, you get people. I mean, you're getting a lot of variety so when you're you picky do about what you murder. I, yeah, I get, you got to bring some real stuff to the table now. Zombies are not enough. I'm more. I'm more about. Um yeah, quantity or the quality, I guess, <laughs> when it comes to murder. Dude, like, I'm, <laughs> dude, the quality of these murders are intense, though. <laughs> However much murder I can just pump out, that's, that's, I'm fine it's, with it's it. A lot of homicide, you know. But, <laughs> a lot uh, of 187 going on over here. <laughs> but no, my thing is, man, is like, I loved using claymores, man, in survival. Yeah, that was oh, my yeah. jam. I'd set up my perimeter every single time. So I'd always make sure to keep claymores on, uh, claymores on deck, and I would always set up my perimeter. And oh, if you're playing nice. with two people, it makes me want to play with two people right now, bro. Like it makes me want to like you get a it? gang. Yeah, bro, we'll play it. Like I'm bro, not even playing. Whenever we like, get done with this, we gotta, straight we gotta up, do this. dude. Survival. I got it for PS3 actually, bro. It's been so long, I'm dude. It's been to, a yes. minute, but yeah, I got it for PS3 and Xbox 360 nice. actually. Nice. Um, yeah, old school, baby, old school. I still got both actually. I got 360 and PS3. Nice, yeah, and, well, PS4 and uh, Xbox One, too. I just got the Xbox One. All I have is the PS4, man. I'm yeah. weird. I just don't. I love video games, but all my old stuff that I want to play, mm-hmm. I'm too cheap to go buy it and save it up the collection. Yeah, like, I feel man, that. Really I've had man. these for years, though, dude. Like, I've had them for a minute. I, they just, like, stuck with me, like, even See, after, Yeah, I you sold know, it to everything. get every generation, man. I sold it to go up. And to up get the up. new one, yeah, yeah, to get the upgrade. That's what I had to do, and I never went back and rekindled my collection, which yeah. I should have. No doubt, bro. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it, my dude. Um... First of all, I want I want you kind of you know break down the wrestling community around here. Let them okay. know what company you you know what companies you're with and what you associate with. What wrestlers you're really digging? <coughs> I'm um, a, I'm associated with a lot around here, man. Yeah. The the main one, the one where I got my start is um, this dude Joe Pace's company. Shout out Joe Pace, my yeah, dude. Um, FTC Wrestling out of Ironton and you know Huntington, I think now, but uh, yeah, we do Ironton and Huntington. There's a, there's a lot of shows. He brings in a lot of names, like yeah. from uh, WWE, nice, like, like TNA, ROH, like that's all awesome. the big companies. Yeah, um, that's awesome. Like dude. It, it, it gave me an <coughs> opportunity to um, meet a lot of cool people. Yeah, to yeah. meet him, do like seminars with him, that's learn awesome. from him. That's like, really awesome. It's man. helped me out a lot, man. That's like, killer. I can't thank him enough for all those opportunities. Heck yeah, dude. That's sweet. <coughs> it's awesome. Another one I want to talk about is um, ICS. In uh, international combat sports, okay, in Dunbar, West Virginia. It's under nice. Charleston. I that's do right. a lot of it in West Virginia. A lot of my stuff's in West Virginia. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, <coughs> and uh, I feel like Kentucky ain't showing no love, man. They're not, man. It's uh, it's no, all about their athletic commission. Yeah, like, dude. There's no like, there's uh, no love from Kentucky. I feel like it costs so much to run a, sh- a wrestling show or any type of sporting event really in Kentucky that yeah. it 
it uh, it just it, you can't. No there's love, no... <laughs> baby, don't hurt me. No more. No more. Yeah, there's <laughs> <laughs> good stuff, man. There's just uh, there's no, there's not enough of a market around yeah. here to to profit for how not much demand for how much they're wanting to go out and see it for and the stuff. license and the venues and yeah, everything. You yeah. can't you can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, the, ICS uh, and Dunbar. It's ran by my buddy Josh Kyle, JL nice. Kyle on Facebook. Yeah. Um, yeah, all yeah. these people you guys see, if you guys are into wrestling and uh, you guys want to check it out, make sure to go check these people out, man. Give me on up. Facebook. I'll lead you in all the right directions 100%. for the local stuff. Yeah, I got dude. you. Awesome. But I wanted to shout him out. He gives me a lot of good stuff. Yeah, I appreciate awesome. him a lot. Um, <coughs> Let me hear about the Dad Bod Squad, bro. The Dad Bod Squad, Let me hear about man. the Dad Bod Squad gang, bro. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> got the Dad Bod going on, man. I see you. Believe that, baby. That's, hey, uh, look. You already know, son. It's a character that me, um, my buddy Scotty Boom... Okay, Scotty Workman and uh, Nate Rose. He doesn't like his real name being put out there. He's kind of that guy. Yeah. But uh, <clears throat> we worked. We did this. Uh, it came up as a joke, man, because someone was uh, making fun of us because yeah. uh, Nate's whole thing is he thinks he's like sexy. Yeah. He does the whole hip swivel. <laughs> Someone's like, bro, you got a dad body. What are you doing? You're not sexy. And he's like, not in like. It just came up like dad bod squad. I'm like, dude, yeah. I got dad bod too. And it's like, yeah, dude. It just went from uh, there. It- and- we flex yeah, that, at the dad bods, man. <laughs> it's really funny, like, man, because like uh, <laughs> it's straight, it's comedy, man. It, like you know, uh, it's funny that you I have say so that. So much fun doing it because it it, it really is. It, it's 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 great satire, man. It really is. And like it the is. thing about it is, is like I noticed like a couple episodes back, man. I was looking and I was like, oh, dude, I got a gobbler like my neck, bro. What's going on? I got a double chin, bro. <laughs> hey, man, so, I got you on a shirt, man. You bro, I just been lazy. You know what I mean? Oh, on Dad Bot Squad. Oh yeah, bro, bro. Rocket. You already know, Absolutely. bro. We'll Bot promote Squad, that you. all day, dude. You already you, know. Um, reminders, rem- remind but, me, man. I got you. You know, I saw the gobbler, bro, and I was like, dude, I'm out here slipping. <laughs> I don't know why, bro. It's because like straight up, no excuse, no nothing, bro. I quit nicotine. You know, I quit chewing and, and smoking cigarettes. That'll and do it. and then uh, not not just that is that I ain't throwing it on that and then I just got lazy straight up like I just quit going <laughs> to the gym for sure I just quit going to the gym bro sure. like and then if you don't go to the gym and you eat mass amount of food like I do because I was used to going to the gym all the time yeah that's not you get the dad swell. bod you get the dad bod you'll bro the dad bod. here's the thing all I, carbs all day here's the thing though I quit pop and I've been back in the gym five days a week so and dad bod I don't, I don't no drink, more baby yeah. give me a month or two and we back to it you know what I, I don't mean? drink pop either man I quit bro no like, kidney stones for me yeah no well I, I, luckily I've never had a kidney stone but like you know terrified of them it's just like all the sugar in it bro and I still cheat once a week like once a week bro i'll have do that, i'll man. have like well i mean i'm only like three weeks in though bro you know what i mean i'm I still I'm like, like almost a year now i'm early bro so like but i know as soon as i quit pop i'll lose the gobbler and we'll be out here i won't be double chinning it up you know because i'm comfortable with my own skin bro i roast myself i don't even care bro oh, me too dude. and i saw it bro care. and like you know when you when you got the dad bod and you don't have a beard, you see the chin, bro. And I'm yeah, like, oh, see, luckily I got son. the, I got the, you big got you got the like, beard, bro. Going. Yeah, dude. Luckily, like yeah. you know, I was I was blessed, you know, with the you know the devilish charm of you know the handsomest <laughs> individual out of my immediate family. But my brother was uh, blessed with the beard, so like I'll mm. take the charm, but I'll take the handsomeness. You know what I'm saying? Because my brother ugly. You know what I mean? So <laughs> you know, I don't know, man. I need my beard. It's like my yeah. makeup. Like, I wish I wish I did have a beard, bro. All I can get is a little the little pencil mustache. That's all. I got, bro. I ain't hey, got man. nothing. My condolences, bro. <laughs> R.I.P. to my face, bro. It's, no, I'm just saying. Tough. Nah, but like, like I said, you know, another month or two, bro. The gobbler will be gone, so we're good, baby. I just got. I, I just. I have no excuse to be hey, fat. You no, know what I'm saying? Speak, like speaking into existence for man, real. Like it, yeah, bro. Like because at, at the same time, people need to take that into consideration and take self accountability with their lazy actions, and they Absolutely. don't do nothing, and then they get chubby, and they're like, oh, I'm just going to give up, my son. I've been sweating. I've been working. I've been in the gym, bro. Anybody who goes to the gym, they probably see me out there. I get in my zone. I don't talk to nobody. I do my thing and call it a day. Yeah, and I get my tan on, long baby. Long yeah, you already know, bro. I just call. I, you know, I do what I do. Shout out to Casey King, friend pass. Yeah, Thank you, sir. that's right. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. Keep on going. Uh, you know, I just wanted to talk about the dad bod squad. I will rock a shirt for sure. Um, go ahead and continue, my friend. Let's see. God, let's talk about wrestling right here. I'm going to talk about a local... <laughs> a couple like local wrestlers around here who have helped me out a lot. Yeah, to get get my shout them out, bro. Let little. let these people know. <laughs> um, Casey King. I'm gonna I'm gonna start with him, man. He, shout uh, out, bro. I saw where he was training to wrestle about three years ago. It's been a minute, and uh, I grew up with him. Like yeah. we go way back, like four or five years old for me. Like how old he was? I don't know. He's he's an old man. He's, old man. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a year above me. Yeah. So he was probably born in like 95 or 94. Right. Yeah. We're um. 
we used to do like backyard trampoline stuff, and uh, I saw he was legitimately getting into it. Yeah. So I hit him up, and you know, we started going training together. We then, uh, you know, he's helped me out a lot since, and I can't thank him enough for that. Like, get me into that because without without him, there wouldn't I probably wouldn't be in wrestling. Honestly. Yeah, for sure, dude. That's awesome. <coughs> Influence is everything, man. Absolutely. We are all influenced by something, you know, and, whether uh, it be positive or negative. The, and next person I'm going to shout out is the dude who trained both me and him, and that is uh, Bobby Blaze, local legend from local around here. Local legend, baby. Oh, yeah, on WCW television, former Smoky Mountain Wrestling World Champion. That's awesome. One of my favorite people on this planet. I love <laughs> Bobby Blaze. That's awesome, dude. Heck, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. If you don't know Bobby Blaze, man, check out him and his podcast. It's Bell to Bell with Bobby Blaze. Nice, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Plug that yeah. in, baby. Uh and uh, if you get the link or whatever, I'll drop it on the description for him, you know. Uh, Absolutely. Let yeah. my people go know, you know, people who like wrestling and stuff can go check out, uh, you know, him and see what he's about. Absolutely. And uh, <clears throat> third and third person I'm going to shout out is uh, – I'll probably be the last – I can't, I have so many I want to get to, but I'll probably just – I'll probably lump them all in them. Yeah, like yeah, more, yeah. Lump you them know, all yeah, in. For but, sure. Uh, Absolutely. Like Eric Darkstorm. He took me under his wing. He's from nice. Huntington. I'm from Ashland. We're right there. Yeah. Uh, He's he's been on a lot of big platforms and stuff, and Heck he's yeah, really dude. good, really good in the ring. And uh, took me under his wing, really helped me out, and helped me grow not only as what, what as company person. was he with? You said ah, uh, he's with um, me and him are both at Mega Pro Wrestling. Okay, and, cool. Um, and ICS and FTC. Mega Pro, Mega Pro Wrestling. Yes, Mega awesome. Pro Wrestling in Marmette, West Virginia. Nice. It's uh, it's right outside Charleston. Yeah, it's uh, a. <clears throat> Yeah, it's good stuff. Is there a Facebook? Is there? They have yeah. a Facebook page. Have, cool, all, all of these cool, I've mentioned cool, cool, have cool. Facebook pages. Awesome. Under yeah. what I said. Like yeah. FTC awesome. Wrestling, ICS is International Combat Sports. Nice. And uh, Mega Pro Wrestling. You'll see that it's in Marmette, West Virginia. Heck yeah, man! You're a big part of that one. You you know you're uh, yeah. you know you got a big hand in it. You you know help it a lot and stuff. <clears throat> uh, that's awesome. When the, when's the next show that you got coming up, bro? The, ne- the next show I have coming up yeah. is August 31st in Hamlin, West Virginia. I'm glad you said that. I'm gonna awesome. shout them out too. My buddy uh, Ryan Pritchard, yeah, <clears throat> and uh, PI, all the staff at PIWA Premier Independent Wrestling Alliance, they uh, they help me out a lot, and they they give me a lot of opportunities. Heck and, yeah, uh, man! They, That's they awesome. love the Dad Bod Squad there in Hamlin, West Virginia. <laughs> they buy a lot of my merch, and uh, I got nothing but love for those people, man. They they make me feel like a superstar. You can't beat that. And uh, but yeah, funny. their next thing is August thirty first. Dad Bod Squad doors bro, open at six thirty. That's 6:30. hilarious. <laughs> Bell time at seven, Lincoln County High School. Oh man, be there. So funny, please. Yeah, man. Buy my merch, please. Yeah, absolutely, bro. (laughs) Uh, Just want to take a second. Speaking of merch, make sure anybody who just tuned in go to www.togetherftr.com. Hit the merch tab, or you can just scroll down. You'll see the merch. We got baby merch. We got hoodies. We We got got tanks. We got. Uh, fanny packs, bro. We got, Ooh, we got a fanny flops, pack? bro. You gotta hook me up with a fanny Dude, pack, bro. Dude, you already know. Um, so yeah, Support bro. your local artist, man. You already Support know, us. man. Um, so yeah, if you guys get a second, go uh, check that out. Also, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers on YouTube. So if anybody can go on to YouTube and search Together FTR um, and subscribe, I'd really, really appreciate it. I think it's at like 55 or 60 right now. It's close, but... Not there yet, and uh, if you can take a second to go on Facebook, if you're already on Facebook, you can just hit the thing above and go to For the Record Dash Podcast, um, or just search at Together FTR, and it'll pop right up. Make sure to like, uh, go to see first, and uh, yeah, just want to take a second to do that. But go ahead and uh, keep shouting these people out, man. Let, let, let these people know what's up. <laughs> Next show we got August 31st in Hamlin, West Virginia. Hamlin, West Virginia. It's cool. out there. It's uh. Lincoln County High School Lincoln is where it's County, at. Lincoln County, baby. Yeah, hey, we getting to out it, baby. There. That's right. I'm always man. in West Virginia. That's My awesome. God. You got any shows uh, coming after that? After that, uh, September 6th. Okay. At, um, we'll be for Mega Pro Wrestling. It'll be at um, the Mar- in Dunbar. No, 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 oh, no. That's, that's the, the Marmette, other. West Virginia. Okay, yeah. My Dunbar is International bad. Combat Sports. Got you, got you. That's yeah, my yeah, bad. Yeah. Sorry. No, that's fine. Um, trying to think of. Oh yeah, the Marmette Rec Center, and Bell Times eight fifteen. Nice. So. Uh, does FTC have a show coming up as well? Uh, not that I know of. I, I thought I, I know saw... we've got another one in the works. I know for um, before the year's out. Okay, but I don't know the exact details on it yet. Because the last one was at the Hot Dog Festival. But definitely follow Correct. the page. Yeah, last okay. one. Okay. No, the last one was a uh, Black Sheep. Oh, okay, okay, in, okay. Uh, Huntington. 
Black Sheep, uh, Harley Davidson. Yes, gotcha, yes. Gotcha, gotcha, the dad bought yeah. was out in full effect. Yeah. Came with Casey, well, Casey the, King. Yeah, the Hot Dog Festival, my boy Tommy Newton, shout out to him, got to drop his name with TNT's The oh, Wrestling yes. Fix. Tommy. That's my guy. Uh, Tommy's shout out, a really cool guy. Dude, that's, that's good people right there, for real. Shout yeah, out man. to my boy, man. Uh, but he went up there, and we hung out that weekend, actually. He said he had a good time up there, you know, yeah, and dude, uh, talked to everybody. Tommy. He's a good dude. Oh, yeah. Awesome, dude. TNT is the wrestling fix. Go check them Always. out on uh, Facebook. Go add Tommy Newton and see what shows he's going to be, uh, you know, at selling his merch and um, – uh, wrestling figures and uh, you know rings and you know just a bunch of different awesome stuff that he sells as well. If you're into the wrestling community, um, but yeah, man, that's awesome. So got some shows coming up. That's great. Are you uh, maybe thinking of maybe expanding your Dad Bod Squad team or maybe starting another tag team or is that like you're set in like is Dad Bod I'm Squad a- just two guys? Dabot Squad is me and Nate Rose are okay. the wrestlers. Okay, and then you got your We're manager. We're the tag team, and then our manager, Scotty okay. Boom. Got you. And uh, I'm in a, I'm in another another group. I'm in Dark okay. Clouds with Eric Darkstorm. He's cool. the leader of that. Uh, nice. Yeah. That's, that's what's up. And he's one. the guy. We got, we, got, we got people in Dark Clouds all over the country, man. Okay. Nice, and, uh, We got bro. a dude in Miami, Ricky Rush. Um, we got a dude in Louisville. Hi, Isaiah. And, nice. Uh, we got Ruthless Lala. I don't even know where she's from. Somewhere in the Carolinas. Yeah. Don't quote me on that. I'm sorry <laughs> that I don't know where you're from. Yeah. Dark right clouds, on, though. <laughs> <laughs> gang, 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 boy. Gang. Shout out. Gang, gang. All right, so next thing we're going to go on to, man. Is there anything else you want to, uh, before we go any further, is there any other uh, wrestling things you want to throw out there, any companies <clears throat> or people specifically you can think of that? Yeah, I'm going to. Two people who helped me a lot. For sure. a wrestler that yeah. I traveled with. Uh, not together, but I, I traveled with them. I want to shout them out so I don't forget them. Absolutely. Because they're my boys. Uh, Jarrett Cage. Nice. Uh, yeah, I know Jarrett. You know Jarrett? Yeah, bro. Yeah. I met him I met him over oh, yeah, in Ireton. Yeah, you did yeah, meet Jarrett. Bro, yeah, I dude. met him. Love Jarrett Cage. You yeah, he's cool. on here, man. He's, yeah, dude, for sure. Got, I didn't even think about that. He's got some that. stuff to he's talk about. He's intelligent, bro. I, yeah. didn't even, oh, yeah. I didn't even think about hitting him up. I don't know if we're still friends on Facebook anymore. Terry Cage. But yeah, dude. Yeah, legit. Yeah, dude. He's, he works all the time. You have to work around that. But yeah. he helped me out so much, man, just to yeah. get a book of knowledge. Um, and uh, Zayden Kane from uh, Huntington. Yeah, I don't know him. <clears throat> yeah, he's, uh, he's just a, one of my local boys. Right uh, on, dude. I met him early in my career. He let me ride around with him and get a lot of experience. And nice. Really thankful for that. So. That's awesome, man. Heck, yeah. That's, that's uh, really sweet. That's everyone else. I appreciate you, and I love you. Just I can't. There's a lot going on we got to get to, so. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, but shout out to local wrestling, man. Shout local out. independent wrestling, everything that's going on with these guys. You know, they're doing some cool stuff. I'm going to be having more wrestlers on the show. Uh, so anybody who's really into wrestling, you know, you can tune in and check these guys out, you know. Uh, so next thing I wanted to get to you uh, was, uh, you know, the Amazon right now. And what's going on? We actually just shared a video uh, yesterday or day before. Um, I'd found on Twitter that I'd saw about one of the villages, uh, one of the tribes from the village, you know, in the Amazon or whatever, pretty much just like giving a public service announcement about like how they're tired of like people dumping pesticide into their rivers and like doing like they're tired of all this tyranny and all this stuff they're experiencing, just bad stuff's going on in the (coughs) Amazon, man. And they think they set these things on fire, you know, whatever, man. Like I'm paraphrasing. I don't. You need to go watch the video. It's very yeah. important, but it's just like it's sick. Like, that should tell you how bad the situation is there. That because these these people aren't like in the media like that. Yeah, they're not no. with Facebook. Mm-mm. They're not with social media. They're no, down, they don't just express their opinions. They're no, not all over the they place. They just live. Yeah, they, it, just, they just exist, exist in the rainforest. You know, that's their kingdom. Yeah, so, like dude. if they feel the need to address everybody, that should tell you how serious it's of sick, a thing man. that is. It's disgusting, like, dude. Have you seen and all the pictures of those, like, charred animals? animals and, yeah, dude, man. it's brutal, man. And, it's like, like, it's just horrific that, like, these people have to go out of their way to make something like this, like we right. just said, you know? Like, it's sick that they even have to do that. Like, what are you doing, man? Like, we're really doing bad stuff. And the thing is, if it's really, like, somebody actually started these fires, well, you probably did. Somebody probably did start it these fires, It was probably out of spite. I mean, yeah, honestly. like people who were trying to buy the land or something, this horrible stuff. I heard stuff. it was something about oil or something they maybe, couldn't drill. Or maybe, maybe. Could have been. yeah. Could have been. Some it probably sort of act got passed. Yeah, couldn't. something happened, and it was probably for the better the betterment of the environment, and things were like, nah, we're just going to destroy it then. Yeah, we don't just, even care. That's terrible. Seriously, if that's you, like, what are you doing with this? Yeah, stuff? seriously. Like, come on. Man. Well, I mean, we know what they're doing. They're getting paid a lot. Right, yeah. <laughs> they're getting I mean, their palms greased. That's exactly I don't. What I don't know doing. if I, if I trust uh, the money in my pocket to provide oxygen for me. Yeah, for real, dude. So that's that's my problem with that. 
Yeah, but people just don't <laughs> care, man, because they like don't, they man. they think that you know they live in this bubble that you know things are people always going to be People think we're really great. untouchable or something. Yeah, we're a very fragile like, creature in a very yeah. fragile planet. Like yeah, like we're all it takes we're is one a, we're poof. one big meteorite away from not being here. Like, yeah, well. So. Well, yes and no. Stephen Hawking said that we'll kill ourselves before we get hit with a meteor. I mean, absolutely. That's again, definitely. Again, right. at least, because we've been hit by stuff before. That's what they think the <laughs> catastrophic events that have happened to the world. That's what they think they they are. It'd be a meteor or whatever it may be with the cosmos shifting and stuff. Yeah. But the thing is, um, that's what Stephen Hawking said. He said that he thinks that we'll blow ourselves up before we get hit again. I mean, it's going to take a while. I say we will. Look at all the weapons of mass destruction we have. Out there. Horrible stuff, man. Climate change, global warming. There's so I much mean, bad stuff to talk about. Our right oceans. Don't want to talk about it. Dude, it's, so it's sickening. And our oceans are horrible. You know, and that's why I brought up, you know, not uh, the episode before last or whatever. I was talking about how nobody should own or nobody should have over a billion dollars. Nobody, nobody needs to have a billion dollars. What are you going right? to do with that? You know, let's put it in perspective like I did last time, bro. Let me put this in perspective. Drake is worth $150 million. Right. Bro, that's not even a quarter of a billion. A million, a thousand millions equals a billion. So if yeah. he's worth 150 million and you see how lavishly this man lives, how much is a billion? It's ignorant how much money it is. It's so I, I personally feel like after you, really. Oh, dude, it's crazy. You, you start, <laughs> that's when you start buying people. You yeah, know what I mean? That's, that's that's when things get weird, bro. Jeffrey Epstein was a billionaire. Straight Remember up. That. Yes, bro. <laughs> and here's another thing you got to think about. So let's put it in perspective again. So a billion dollars, right? I think after you make a billion dollars, every single penny you make after a billion needs to go to the world and what the world needs. Our oceans would be clean by now. Everything would be taken care of by now, would. bro. Like we would be fixed. We would have fixed our renewable energy. Th- like everything would be fixed, bro. If, cause think about how many billionaires we got and think about how many people have made it. We got too many. We got Jeff Bezos. He's one of the richest people in the world. We got yeah. Oprah. We got Bill Gates. And they're um, getting tax cuts. Oh yeah, like, dude. What, because they why? make so much money. <laughs> If anything, they should be taxing them like more. More is what I straight feel. up. They, maybe I don't know enough about the world economics, e- world and economics and stuff to yeah. comment on that. But I feel like maybe that's just common sense. It is. It is common sense, that bro. The you more would, money you have, the more you can afford it. Straight up, if you're right. worth twenty five billion and your tax cut is twenty percent, and I have one million and my tax cut is twenty percent, that's not fair. That's not. That's not. That's not how, yeah, that's not. That's. It's not nonsense. Been, yeah, no, that's, that's nonsense. It's not what bro. we've been working towards. It's not what For we've been real. progressing towards. That's and the like, opposite way. <clears throat> yeah, and it's just so sad that like everything's going on in our world right now and nobody cares about it. Like, no, you man, know, and we're turn all, it into a funny meme is what they'll do. Yep. And, and it'll go viral. And we're numb to trauma at this point and like it's gonna take something really, really bad to bring us back. To like unify it is. us. I, it's gonna, I say it all the time jokingly, but I say we need a new plague, which I'm not serious. Don't yeah. quote me on that. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. Alex Music, uh, hashtag new plague. <laughs> yeah, it, I'm not going to start it. I don't I don't support it. But I'm that just saying something funny. like that is the only thing that will save this planet. Yeah, well. Um, unless yeah. we all pull together and pull our heads out of our rooms, yeah, you know, which I is mean, not going to happen. Yeah, I mean, I feel what you're saying, but at the same time, you got to think. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think population control is the answer because that's already happening. It is. You know man. what I mean? I don't think we need I a plague. Like that's, like, that's just population control. Dude, we don't need population control. The only way to change the world, bro, is to put knowledge into the youth. And you give the youth all the information they need to make things better. Absolutely. But look at what we're putting into the youth now. Horrible stuff. <laughs> like, why do you think, why you think I'm trying to do like, what I'm trying to do? Like, I'm trying to spread awareness, man. man. And like, I appreciate that. Man. Yeah, like, we need more people who are ready to... We need more Taylor Prox and less little pumps. Is what <laughs> I, mean, in the world. I wouldn't go as far as say that. Maybe he's doing some good for the world, but he's doing a lot of bad for the world as well. Yeah, I was a... Whatever yeah. good he's doing is outweighing all the <laughs> stupid kids I see nowadays, yeah. like, trying to flex with guns on Snapchat. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's getting crazy out it's here. In, it's insane. But, like, you know, we need to tell people in our generation and our generation's following that, like, they, they need to vote and, like, they need to care about politics. Cause people are like, you know, I hate people that are like, oh, I don't even care about politics. I don't, I don't even care about our it. Our vote doesn't matter. Yeah, Nothing I'm not wor- – I, I used to be the same way, like, when it came to voting. Too, I've always man. cared about politics. I've always cared about politics. But, like, I literally just learned about the Electoral College. Like, I didn't just learn about it, but I just learned exactly how it works. I was under the impression, and I had some misinformation that had guided me down the wrong path of politics in that general area. Uh, But now I'm straightened out. I know what's going on. And, you know, I was humble enough to take the advice and take the learning, you know. Yeah, you're much better off of politics or doing your own research rather rather than listening to outside sources. Oh, yeah, bro. Because, like— 
especially like a media source, they're going to be like funded by some yeah. billionaire with an agenda. Well, I got the get plug get the, when it comes yeah. to history. You know what I'm saying? Lambo's my boy, so I just hit hey, him on Mr. his phone. Lambert, I love that you know man. I'm saying? Yes. I hit him on his phone. Like, dude, I, like, he'll tell you, bro, straight up. You can ask him, bro. I will literally call him at random times of the day. Like, it'll be, <laughs> it'll be like, you know, 732 on a Wednesday. And I'll be like, hey, bro. What is and I'll just hit him with something like crazy, and he'd be like, "Oh well," and he'll just start explaining it to me, bro. Like it's so awesome, man. I love it. That's my guy. Shout out to my the book dude. of knowledge, man. Dude, he really yeah. is. Him and Step both, man. I can't wait to have them on uh, like a specific episode that we got planned out because I'm actually gonna start doing debate episodes too. Mm, be uh, dude, it's gonna be a lot of fun, man. I got a lot of I got I got a lot of cool stuff planned. I got some new segments I'm gonna test out. Um, you know, possibly maybe, uh, adding another podcast, uh, you know, maybe appearing on some podcasts that I've inspired, you know, so on and so forth. I don't want to ruin too much or speak before they're in motion, but yeah, you know, got some things lined out that should be a lot of fun, man. You know, um, I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be great, dude. Um, so yeah, shout out to Step and Lambert because they really are, man. Those guys are brilliant, and like I love that you know I'm still close to them, and like I want to have other teachers from Blazer on too, man. Like I really are you cool do. Miss Maudlin. Uh, like I know her, but like I don't think that I, I didn't have her in class. Dude, Jane Maudlin is amazing. Yeah, I dude. Oh, dude, literally, Lambert best. and Step both talked so highly about her. Yeah, I just so never had her. Like I had her for like homeroom. But like homeroom and Blazer, you know, like you have it like once every three uh, every yeah. three months. You yeah, know? yeah, that's like, not the same. Exactly, like, I you didn't. Know, you don't I, get the full experience. Exactly, of her. I didn't have her in class, so I don't really know her. But I've heard nothing but great things. Yeah, so I had her she senior wanted to, year, man. So she yeah, was always really. Was that's awesome, so dude. Cool, so like, you know, so, if she wants to come on. She sees this, man. Like, I'm friends more with her on Facebook, man. She, I'll share it. She might see it. One hundred percent, dude. Love you, Miss Maudlin. <laughs> but yeah, man, I want to have more teachers on. I want to have. Uh, Hopefully, you know, in the next, I don't know, and like, you know, it's gonna sound crazy. I kind of want to have Joe Burchett on, bro. Like, just because, like, the, the controversy. Yes, bro. Mm. Like, because the controversy that he endured. True. And, like, maybe give him a platform. Uh, well, I'm not. I'm, it's not really that I'm trying to give him a platform. It's just I want to be, hear his side of the story. I want to understand yeah. his side of the perspective because we all know that there's know two the sides. Stories. Yeah, we know the stories, and, but there's two sides to every story. So maybe it, things weren't what we thought. Maybe. Or maybe I mean, perhaps it I, was. I know a lot of people who've been to jail, though that jail in particular. Word, and it's just from what I've heard, that's mainly true. Those stories are basically hey, true. Could I? Absolutely. I don't personally know. I ain't, yeah. I'm not a criminal like that. Yeah, could but I mean could possibly don't be, let me fool you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a criminal. Could possibly be true, man. <laughs> but I want to have I want to have people from all walks of life. I want to have, you know, people, but here's the thing. I don't want people to get it twisted either. I need to make this clear. I want people from all walks of life, but I don't want any, you know, Tom, Dick, and Harry coming, you know, whatever. Uh, It can't just be, you have to have something to offer. You have to have something to offer. You can't just be like, Hey man, can I come on your podcast and, and just we talk. just and we just hang out? And just like, like look nah, at stuff. like yeah, <laughs> like you know, like I want you to have something. I want yeah, I no, want people who are is brilliant. The spice of life, man. exactly. I want people who are brilliant. I want people who are fighters. I want people who are wrestlers. I want basketball players, like football players, like teachers, artists, musicians, yeah. uh, art, just drawing, tattoo yeah. artists, rappers. Literally, if you have something about you that is, I don't care if you're a magician, bro. Like, let's get it. I'll bring yeah. you on. We'll do a live magic trick, dude. I really don't care. I just want somebody. I want people who are interesting, who have things to talk about that are, you know, whatever it may be. You want be. me to RKO you live right now? Bro, let's get it on the table, son. <laughs> on the table. Let's bust the table um, right now. But, yeah, man, you know, like, and I, I want to make that clear. No offense to anybody. Man, I love everybody, and I love all the people that have been coming up to me talking about the podcast, and I want you guys to involve yourselves. I don't want you to feel not involved. It's just like, you know, at the same time, you know, I want this Not everybody to, has something to offer to Yeah, like, exactly, you know, some, th- you know. some things don't need to be whatever, so you, you know? You need to have an all-around knowledge, I feel like. Yeah, for sure, you of, need to be well-rounded. Main, yeah. To a degree. Like a lot of subjects. To a degree. Um, but yeah, bad stuff going on in the world right now, a lot of bad stuff, but, you know, we're gonna get through it, and like I said, I feel like we're almost numb to trauma, but the thing is, man, like... If we become too sensitive, it gets weird, and if we become too numb, it gets weird. We can't, like, you know, we can't, we gotta find that happy medium and that balance that will guide us in the right direction to what we need to be focusing on with our priorities, man. 
Like, in my opinion, dude, straight up, I don't know how you feel about it, but I don't think we need to be helping other countries when we're not even helping ourselves. No. Our um, our national debt, I don't know if you ever took a gander at that. The deficit budget that we get each year yeah. adds – well, it's weird, actually. I don't yeah. even – that's a whole other conversation, but, like – Yeah, I, d- it, I don't – I don't think we're in a place anymore financially to, help to be. To, we're not the we're superpower not. we were coming out of I mean, World War Two. We are a superpower. And we're we a superpower, are, but we not. We're not. We have. We're not booming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not, right out of World War Two, it was a big boom, and yeah. that's when we started helping other countries. That's War when the United Nations money. came up. That's when it. That's War, when we really became a superpower. War brings money, bro. Yeah, that's well, I don't think up. we're in the same position that we were no, coming out of that. No, we're in bad shape, dude. Yeah, we need to help ourselves first. We need to build our country back and get our feet about us again and help all the starving people that are in our country and the homeless people and the children that are getting killed and raped. Absolutely. And horrible things that are going on to people in this world. And no, I mean, not this world, this nation, you know, and we need to help ourselves before we try to help other people. I get it. There's people that are way worse off than we are. Maybe we should extend the hand because whatever. But at the same time, I disagree with that. Sorry, people, but I disagree. I think we should be helping our own people first. And by own not people, you. I don't mean white people. I mean Americans. I mean people who are American. Humans you, that live in my citizenship. community. In the United States yeah. of America, you straight qualify. up, dude. Like, and, and that's even a worse situation where people are trying to get citizenship, dude. They got to wait twenty years just to get uh, yeah, in. It's not, it's that that it's whole process is a joke. It's a joke, bro. It is. That's that's when people are like, "Hey, they should come over illegally." I I agree, and I that's the whole thing, man. It's weird. Like, yeah, that's a whole other thing. But like, what we're getting at right now is like, I just personally don't think we should be helping other countries. And like I said, I feel like we should be helping. Our own turf. We need to straighten ourselves out. Yeah, dude. Like, Before there's so many people that are in people. bad shape in America, man. We got people who are, you know, we got little old ladies that are getting Social Security that can't even get food stamps. You know what I'm saying? They, they're not even yeah. getting no food, bro. They're getting like $600 a month, $700 a month. And they got to pay their, like, bills. You worked your whole gonna, life, yeah. but we're going to give you nothing. Yeah. Like, what? Like, not even half of your check is made. Yeah, while like, you're is, working. Is this for the repa- is it, many years? Is this the payment we get for working all these years? It is, like, apparently. It's it's pathetic, dude, and, like, you got people who are out here just living it up off food stamps and stuff, and, like, I'm not sitting here saying that, like, I didn't just get my food stamps cut off, not that, you know, this year, but at the same time, like, I wasn't abusing them, dude, like, I didn't get that much. Right, I mean, you have kids. Bro. Yeah, and, like, they you, you and, and they barely gave us any, bro, like, they would give us yeah. barely any, and, like, the thing is, bro, there's people out here getting $900, and they just sitting on their, you know, bus just chilling, bro, not doing nothing. No, the worst the worst is when they they don't feed their kids with that, and they yes. flip it for money. Yeah. Yes, bro. Like, that's, are you that's kidding really me? That really bothers me to my core. Like, and that's what you got to realize. Like, that's going to happen. Like, if you got $900 of food stamps, you ain't going to be able to eat $900 worth of food stamps no. each month. You're going to sell it. If you're, There's no way you can eat $900 worth of food unless you have, like, five kids. Well, even with five kids, bro, you got to think. Even if you put it at, like... Ten dollars a just day, like for like or twenty dollars. Gluttony at that point. Oh, straight up, it, maybe twenty five dollars a day, depending. And then you might eat out every once in a. I don't know, bro. I mean, you could do the math, and I don't think it would come out to like nine hundred dollars. Yeah, bro. that's not what even you with need. five kids. Yeah, no. Like you could spend a good amount of money and still have money left over. Right. Probably have like two hundred. That was the maximum I could think reason I could think of. Yeah, of bro. Why you would like? God, that's crazy. Like, man. Most of them don't have five kids. No. <laughs> like, like, what if you? And get, even if they did, they still kind of don't need that much. Bro, like, yeah. Like that's just insane to me, man. I can't. I can't get with it, bro. Can't either. But like I said, man, we need to be helping our own country before we start helping other people. Yeah. And you know we're in we're just in a bad way right now, dude. Like everything's just real bad, and we need to be spreading knowledge to the youth. And stop poisoning their brains with drugs and manipulation and, you know, uh, you know, degrading women to a, de- you know, to where they're just, you know, whatever. I'm not sitting here saying that I don't do it in my songs too, bro, because I do. But at the same <laughs> yeah. time, I do a lot of uplifting stuff too. It's right. not like I'm always just being derogatory about women and drugs and money and gang banging. I don't even talk I mean, about I mean, it, with the like with the genre comes the it comes with the territory. Comes, it comes with the territory. It does, bro. Like, like, like it really, it, like you're gonna talk about. You know, if you don't, then people, then everyone that's in in that genre that already does it, yeah. when you're coming in, they're just going to be like, nah, they're going to write you off. They're going to not to a degree, you. yes. Like, unless you like. were just, unless, unless you you're were so just, good that they can't you, deny you. But I can't think of one person who's that good that don't talk about it, yeah. who hasn't talked about it, at yeah. least a little you got bit. got to. <laughs> as, sad as, it, as sad as it is, you got it's just it. a little. It's something that you do, like you just had. It, it, like you said, it comes with the territory, bro. That's how it works. Plus, it's, it's easier it's to write. Worked. It's easier to write about how bad your life is, of course, than, than, than to think about how to, good it might be, how good it could be, or you how know, good whatever. what you're doing is, or to think yeah. of enough uplifting message. It's, it's so much easier just 
dwell on all the negativity, man. That's for real. That's bro. where a lot of people slip up. Yeah, I, tr- I do. T- oh, I do a lot. I'm really bad about being negative, but yeah. I tr- I try my. I'm try pessimistic, bro. But at the same time, like I'm more of a realist than I am pessimistic. Right. Like, I, t- I try to use common sense in everything. Yeah. And like realist. And I try to evaluate all the situations, even right. when people are telling me their problems, man, stuff like that. I'm trying to look at it like objectively, like from other people's standpoints too. Like, yeah, yeah. I try to look at it like that, but I'm trying to look at it like. You know, what have you done that caused this or brought this into yeah. your life or, like, yeah. whatever it may be? And then I look at it like that, and I'm like, man, maybe it's your fault. Yeah, you well, know? when people are like, like, oh, man, my job's so terrible. I lost it. Yeah. Like, I lost it because, you know, they, they did this to me and this to me. I'm like, well, you know, have you ever thought to ma- maybe stop and think about what you could have done to change that? Yeah, for real, bro. Like, Get your life together. That's what we're saying, okay? Let's say, if, if you talk anything into – into reality, it will manifest. Yeah, bro. Really, Hashtag. You, sh- you got to be about it. Yeah, get it together. Hashtag FTR, bro. Hashtag together, together FTR. Come on, bro. Nah, but uh, anyways, I want to take a second and let you all know that It Chapter 2 also comes out on September 6th. Uh, Same day my man's uh, show goes out. So go, so forget that fire. movie until next week after that. And then It'll be out for weeks. That's show. a one-time Yeah, thing. exactly. So September 6th, uh, it'll drop in theaters. So after that, go check it out for sure. Let me ask you this, my friend. Um, Hold on one second. Can I hit this just one second? Yeah, go ahead, bro, for Dude. sure. Did you see the new um, Pet Cemetery movie? No, I didn't. Dude, you With got John to. Lithgow? Yeah. And uh, what's his name? Jason Clark. Yeah, yeah. Jason he, Clark's yeah. one of my favorite actors. He's good, bro. He like, was in. Public uh, Enemies is my number one movie. Man, what else was he in that was real good? Lawless? Lawless. Yes. Yeah, yes. bro. Dude, Lawless and Public uh, Enemies are my top three movies. Dude, he was in He's something else them. that was really, really good that I watched. Winchester. Um, no, not that one. Hold on. Uh, it was, was uh, oh my God, what was it called? It was like. Point being, Jason uh, Clark's amazing. Dude, he's sick. He really and is. He, he really, he sold this this movie like so well. Really? It, yeah. Like the old man, you know, he sold the original one. Like, yes. He was the one that made that. Yes. The old man did not make this in this. Really? That's no, John, John Lithgow. Lithgow. Yeah, he yeah. did not make it. It was definitely Jason Clark. He, the raw emotion he had there was in, insane. Mudbound, bro. Did you ever see that? No, it isn't. Dude, it's sick. It's a Netflix original, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's got the dude who played uh, Jack and Four Brothers, I'm pretty sure. Let me see here. Like, what? Um, what's the plot? Like, what's the time? Uh, so it's about, like, he moves He moves somewhere, and they live in, like, Mississippi or something. Super racist town. Um, the time period. It looks like uh, 18. Yeah, probably, like, late 1800s or so. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, it's, uh, actually, no, this is 1900s, bro. Two men return home from World War II to work on a farm oh. in rural Mississippi where they struggle to deal with racism adjusting to life after the war. So one of the slave's sons went to war, and uh, Jason Clark's brother went to war as well. So that's, yeah. that's the two men that's talking about coming back from war or whatever. So they go to war and stuff, and they come back, and they actually end up getting tight, and they're, like, you know, real tight, you know, yeah. uh, aside from, you know, racism being a big thing in Mississippi. It was. Uh, and it's, like, it's yeah. bad, bro. Like, it, it's, it's, like, a lot of bad stuff happens in it, but it's a great movie to watch. Like, it's really powering, man, empowering. That's, and just, As it's bad great. as that, that kind of history is, man, you need stuff you got to know. Well, you have to, and that's you why, have to know in, that. in my opinion, that's why they don't need to be taking down uh, things out of history books. They don't need no. to be taking statues down because we need to learn from our mistakes. Yeah, it should offend and that you. was a mistake. It should offend you. Yeah, like, straight people, up. They're taking it down because it's offensive, yeah. but it should offend That's why it's there. You need it's there to, to offend be triggered. you so it doesn't happen again. So exactly. It's to teach you hey don't look be at what a can happen don't look, be a scumbag look you're at what straight can up happen. yeah straight up bro don't be a scumbag get it together and be a good person right. you know and like i feel like we need offensive things like that to learn from it bro Ew. you don't need to erase history when you start trying to be socially and politically correct all the time that's when you ruin things bro because then you're not aware of what's happening new generations dude they probably don't even know what they probably don't know what the trail of tears really was Probably have no idea, man. They probably don't know what uh, like plantations really were. I mean, you got to think, man. This is I don't think they real stuff. History anymore. I don't know. We could ask Lambert. I'm sure he still does. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. Right. But I mean, that doesn't right. mean you know we. I'm sure Ashland's, he knows the curric- curriculum. Yeah, so. the, yeah. The curriculum. However you say that, curriculum. Like, Curriculum. There we go. There it is, yeah. <laughs> Curriculum. Okay. <That> <laughs> Criteria. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but like 
that just because it's taught at Ashland, Ashland's a pretty good school. You know what I mean? Okay. So like it's it's a decent school. So like you got to think it probably is taught there, but there's plenty of schools that are in the hollers, man. Like yeah, they don't deem that necessary. Yeah, exactly. They don't teach that, man. So it's just it's it gets weird, man. It really does. Like, my... Listen, man. 1776, <laughs> we won that war. All right, Civil War. The South should have won. The Civil War we lost. The North all right? won. Okay, it's like, but it's cool because we rebounded in World War One and two, and then. Vietnam was a little setback. We've been Iraq. Vietnam. We've been killing that, right? <laughs> For 30 years? Literally. We went to the Middle East in the 90s, bro. Yeah, what is we, going we, on? We, we never found our way back. Literally, bro. We just, is it a maze we just, we or something? Just, like, why? Yeah. What, what have we failed to do in 30 years <laughs> that we were trying to do? We just initially? live in the Middle East at this point. <laughs> we're essentially yeah, just, yeah, one. We live them. here. No big deal. Like, all, they all went over there and they're like, you know what? It's not bad. Yeah. It's, like, it's, it's pretty, decent. It's pretty cool. Like, yeah. I, I can get with this. Yeah, I like this. I like this, you know. So this our life weather. now yeah <laughs> it's kind of like you know greetings Louis- from my yeah, it's like, like you know it's like louis ck said man it's like it's so horrible to think that we came here 300 years ago or 400 years or 600 years or five how whenever bro and we showed up and in the first like 40 minutes we realized that this isn't india this is not these guys aren't indians 400 years later you're indians you're yeah. indians <laughs> You're Indians. Yeah, dude. dude, how disrespectful is that? We are horrible people. <laughs> are, what is going we are hor- on? We are horrible they are people. natives. Natives, yeah, not I, I'm Indians. A, I'm like one-fourth or one-eighth Cherokee. Yeah. I can't remember, but yeah. It's no, like that one cool. chick who's in po- uh, politics right now. Uh, I don't remember her name, bro. She's like one-fourteenth or something. She's she's representing it's not the It's not that Muslim bro. woman that everyone gives so nah, much Nah, this is, uh, uh, I don't even know. She's like one-eighth Cherokee or something. I don't know. Some, some chick, bro. So let me clarify with that, though. That, that wasn't me saying I agree with anything there. That's me saying maybe you guys should take it easy on her. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you guys are going pretty hard. I read the comments like like it's making me tear up a little bit. I'm like, damn. Yeah. Like, oh but no, like I said, man, you know, it's it, it's very similar to that. It's like, yeah. you know, you show up and it's like, nah, you're still Indians. Like we're not <laughs> we're not gonna call you by what you are. We're just gonna call you Indians. Yeah. Same thing with, you know same thing, bro. Uh so the last thing I'm gonna get on today is if you could choose one animal to represent yourself. What would it be and why? Wow, that I, that's weird, and I was not expecting that. It's out of left field. Um, <laughs> well, I'm going to wrap it up with that because that's a question I typically ask everybody. Okay. Um, a panda bear. Nice. That's sick, dude. I'm going to go with the panda bear for a nice. couple of reasons. One, it's pretty obvious. My size. <laughs> big, man in the big, sh- big man in the big shorts over here. <laughs> But uh, like a panda, I'm I'm a really cool dude. If you just nice. talk to me and like, you know, and you're cool with me, I'm cool with you. But if you like, you know, poke me or make any sudden movements or whatever, like, <laughs> there's there's no guarantee I'm not gonna turn into a bear. You know, like, <laughs> I still am a bear. I just don't look. Yeah, like I am a bear. bear. I'm just <laughs> not until I need to be. That's hilarious, man. Uh, is there any uh, is there uh, any people you want to shout out before we uh, hop off? Anybody else you want to you know rename or uh, some companies you want to go through again? <laughs> I'll go ahead and tell them to follow me again. Uh, go ahead and follow FTC Wrestling on Facebook and Instagram, and uh, do the same with International Combat Sports ICS in Dunbar, West Virginia. Dope. And, uh, FTC's in Ironton, and um, do Mega Pro Wrestling in Marmette, West Virginia. Do that one for me personally. Thank you. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, let's see, Premier Independent Wrestling Alliance in Hamlin, West Virginia. Go give them a like and follow, and Sick. keep up with the Dad Bot Squad because that's re- that and FTC is where they're at. Yeah, mainly. that's right. Any uh, mm-hmm. wrestlers you want to shout out before we uh, hop off as well? I think I hit them all, but okay. you know, I uh, <clears throat> just re re goes that guys. Yeah, much, much love for you guys. Appreciate it, guys. I wouldn't guys. be without you. Yeah, that's what's up. Once again, go check out www.togetherftr.com. Uh, you know, if you need any shirts, go check my man out. Few apparel, and uh, it's been blessed, bro. I really appreciate having you on, man. It's been a killer yeah, episode. I've had a great time, man. Uh, I would, I'd love to come back anytime. Absolutely, bro. Anytime, my man. pleasure, man. I'll de- we'll definitely be having you. Or if you just want to hang out and play some Modern Warfare, <laughs> I'm about that, bro. <laughs> I'm about that survival life. Survival. Sick, bro. But yeah, it's episode 35 for the record. Hashtag Together FTR. The real nugs be. Drex Dyer, you already know we coming to you, baby. It's been real, bro. Hey, it's been real, man. Appreciate you. Until next time.